Hi everyone, welcome to our behind the scenes section. Today we're going to have a look at our weekly number three. Let's get started. Um, as you can see, this image is, well, I find it quite interesting. Uh, this is done from a, like, based on a photograph I took uh, back in Sydney. And basically most of the things I was interesting, interested in were the, basically the road texture to have like this interesting uh, lines of reflection here, then the dirt and basically the idea that it shouldn't look too uh, clean. So it was mainly about creating interesting dirt maps and irregularities in the, uh, in the 3D. So uh, here's the 3D model. As you can see, it's, well, quite simple. In terms of framing, basically the idea was to have uh, this sort of interesting, um, so we are under a bridge basically, and it sort of leads the, here in terms of composition, it sort of leads your eye to this sort of brighter uh, area here. So it's in terms of dynamic, I find it really interesting. The In terms of modeling here, basically there was much of the work was with the, um, the the road here the road here and the sort of curb and uh, pavement here so as you can see here i actually <laughs> sort of overdid it but uh the idea here was to use the brush tool in the edible paint deform and uh, push pull just to get some interesting variation because I knew uh, I didn't want it to sort of do it with the displacement, so I actually modeled it quite quickly. It could be done with ZBrush, but uh, I'm really not familiar with it yet, so maybe next time. The next thing was also, in terms of modeling, there was like a lot of small things, like how these guys are always a little bit offset, and uh, also add uh, like small, details like this guy here or uh, where am I this is the whole scene so that you actually understand what's going on there was like this billboard that is barely uh, like you can barely see in the final image but this is what I really liked is that you can add a really great amount of small detail this is the plan of the actual building this is the couple of cars this is the parking and all these small stuff here were really fun to do because this is how like how you actually import stuff and how you deconstruct them to sort of make them look fun. There is also in terms of forest pack, uh, which is the one I use uh, all the time. There is really simple um, grass here with I think. Uh, yeah, density fall off so that you get this sort of aspect here. And I think there was also a surface, a new paint, yeah, exclude to sort of exclude the the grass near the, the trunk of the of the tree here. These guards are really simple. Uh, it's just using a paint include and uh, deactivate the surface area so that I can only use uh, these brush uh, bushes and shrubs uh, in the area I needed. And also I've added this uh, sort of dead leaves. Um, I think it's yeah spread. It's really like scattered uh, simply so that it adds a little bit of a variety to the, the curb here. I actually wanted to do these guys in 3D, but it was much, much easier to do them in post-production. So I didn't ended up doing them in Photoshop. In terms of lighting, there's nothing really special. It's just a HDRI overcast uh, that comes from the left side, basically, so that it sort of uh, lights the the whole building. We've got some cast shadows, but they're really subtle. There was also here, uh, into, there was some interesting, the brick here, I've used two different materials. These guys 
have like a, a dirt map uh, applied to them so that they uh, have variation because otherwise it would be a little bit too simple and these guys in the back under here have there's like a much darker variation of the that's sort of like mud or dirt or whatever that is um, on top of the on top of the the brick here and that is that you can see here that sort of uh, makes it look much much dirtier uh, near the basically the path where people go trees were uh, I think from arc models and the cars as well and the street here was pretty pretty fun to do uh, nothing really special it was like a huge huge map uh, that has been done and I've just re reworked the reflection map so that the, the things I was talking about here the sort of streaks were much much brighter so that they really f reflect uh, much more although I st still had to uh, pump it up in the in the post-production part and there's a little bit of bump map as well that is comes from a different map but it's just like a asphalt so that you get a, a nice uh, a nice bump in the on the image i think there was also uh it was slightly bent because well because that's how it is so there was a slight bend uh, in the on the uh, on the usual the former plane and there was also a tiny bit of paint deformation basically i had fun with the paint deform on most of the the objects in the uh, in the model here there are like these guys have, i actually forgot to texture them properly these guys have like a lot of many dirt maps and uh like s small stuff like that with a bit of dirt on them so really really simple but still quite efficient um and i think that's pretty much it so yeah the curb gears uh like have all these small offsets i think there's also a slight uh, uh yeah offset here as well so really really simple there wasn't much work on the left side here because i knew it would end up being extremely uh dark and finally, uh, the thing I tend to do all the time that I quite like is to find the, the matching uh, plates for the, the right place because this was taken in Sydney, as I was saying earlier. Um, so yeah, I think that's pretty much it. If we now switch to the post-production part, so this is the image and this is what the raw render looked like here. So as you can see, it's pretty simple. I really, I was quite happy with how this ended up looking like. Um, as I said, there was the, the dirt here that I finally, like I actually did uh, with, the, with the brush. So the first part of the work was actually, so base adjustment, what is this? Oh yeah, these guys were just simple stuff added on the, on the facade here to have slightly more variation, but it's actually quite, quite simple. Here, uh, it's just a curve adjustment layer that uh, pump up the the blues and the greens so that you have them um, because here it was extremely desaturated and then i wanted it to look a little bit more blue here's the use saturation on the back here because it was like not really the color i expected and this as well was for the foreground in terms of lighting so this is where it changes quite a bit uh first these guys so i've used the dodge tool to um selectively change uh bricks on the overall wall here is the same using the burn tool to have something a little bit more efficient because actually the the blending material that i used in the end was not like the the effect was not as strong as i hoped so here is a like a, something i did with the uh the burn tool 
here is the level adjustment so pretty simple change the well basically enhance the contrast here's the burn another burn tool so as you can see there's a lot of burn area here because i want it to basically be pitch black because well there's no, worse nothing nothing much to see this was the uh, dodge tool so as i said uh, in other videos it is extremely powerful when you use it on the on the vegetation and as well on the uh, basically on any bright areas you like to brighter so pretty happy with the result and here th this guy here is the v-ray whoops i'll try to uh like that so this is the v-ray reflection pass and since i wanted to enhance the reflection of this the um, the road here i basically set it to screen like that decrease a little bit the opacity i think and use the layer mask to use it basically mostly on the uh, on the road so that's how it looks like in the end uh, i don't think i used any of these so yeah and then it was just the usual uh oh there was yep sorry um a little bit of uh here so this guy here is just a camera row so i've added a bit of clarity and vibrance and changed basically the the rendering uh, here is the contrast color range from the collection here's cross processing slightly in photo stylizer maybe a little bit too much uh, i changed the curve a little bit because it was a little bit overexposed here and then the interesting stuff happened with these guys here because i wanted it like <laughs> the funny thing is that this guy here which uh, unluckily is right in the foreground was actually the cleanest part whereas it was it should be actually quite dirt as well so what i did is i took a sort of a simple dirt uh, brush and added like i've used uh, like sampling from the, the left side here i've added this sort of patch of dirt here which kind of looks good i think and it's sort of quite convincing this guy i don't think what it, oh yeah these are some simple tweaks that were not good uh on the actual rendering same goes with that guy where the junction between the ground and the and the trunk was a little bit too 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 contrasty and that guy is just a slight variation in the u so yeah i think that's it so as you can see i think it's like there was a great deal of detailing in the in the modeling that was quite interesting i think and it was quite a first time that i took time to actually do it properly although in zbrush it would be much easier to do that much much uh, quicker in terms of rendering uh, the texture of the road was quite convincing com compared to what i was sort of uh, aiming for so that was good and as i said there are like a, uh, several small details that i quite like and that is i think add a lot to the story of the uh, of the image so that will be it for this weekly and i'll see you in the next installment bye guys